Here we have the bane. Well, one of the banes of my existence. Extension cords. They are always a pain in the neck. I have tons of them. They're never where I want them. They're always in knots. Stay tuned. Let's see what we can do about this. So I went to Harbor Freight and I bought some of this nylon cord. It's like 160 pound load rating, which is of course going to be plenty for extension cords. Um, what I'm doing is I am just taking my handy burns matic I am cutting it with the torch to about mm, three and a half, four feet lengths. And then I am attaching it to some wood. Before you attach it to wood, just put a loop in it like this. And then tighten it right down. And then over here at the bandsaw, I've just taken some one by two, just a furring strip that I had laying around. Um, cut it to about a mm, 11 inch strip. And then I'm going to cut a couple of little V notches in it. Just like that. Um, I've made these before without the V-notches, and the problem is the cord will slide all around on them, so we're experimenting with the notches. I didn't bother lining them up because time's more important to me. And then what I'm doing here is I've just looped it through. I'm gonna tighten that down nice and tight. Just like that. And uh, it's a family show, guys, so I took the liberty to untangle this from this rat's nest off camera so that, uh, you know, well, the cursing gets done off camera. And we'll see if I can film this one-handed. Then what you're going to do is just take your loop. Take the piece of wood, loop it through there, and you got you can carry your cord around. And then it may not be the most pretty, but then they're organized. And now I can uh, sit back and contemplate how messy the rest of my shop is.